And this is Edge of Space. My name's Dan, and I'm with PLG Gaming. Uh, so yeah, this is Edge of Space. This is a new 2D side scrolling survival crafting. Actually, no, I'm not going to even give it the tags. I'm just going to say think Terraria in space with a load more projectile weapons and r some really promising features. So let's get straight into it. I mean, character customization. Better than Terraria's. Sorry, but it's the truth. It is better than Terraria's. Uh, let's, let's name him Geezer. Right, he's a right geezer. Um, head on a big chin. Is there one with a all oh, mixed moustache? Chuck Morris. Nook Charis. Not Charles. God, cool spell. Um, let's give him some dodgy hair. There we go. I say it purple, why not? There's only, I'm a bit apprehensive about the body types and the animations in this game. It is a brilliant game though, but it's like, do you think the, look at the body type. Look at this chest part. It's just the starting armour, the rest of the armour looks fine, but it's just like, obviously, boobage. But subtle boobage, and the man shouldn't have boobage. He's an astronaut, for fuck's sake. If you mind my language. Um, show me. Obviously, you want to show the helmet. I mean, I, I prefer this helmet. I prefer the base one. Look, Choris. Right. It's going to penis prime. Jobs are good. Jobs really are good. Just move the mic there a little. So I'm not breathing on you. Dip, dip, dip. I mean, uh, loading screens take a while, but I mean, come on, it's, it's like a huge world. I, I mean, I haven't even got to the second biome yet, and I've got a bigger, better character than this one. Okay, let's do this. Right, you start off with your basic cutter gun, uh, wood, mo wood cutting and like biometric cutting kind of thing, like trees and stuff. And you got, obviously, the laser pick, which picks, you know, you basically pick, you mine stuff. Okay. I'll, I'll just go through the tutorial, but if you want to read everything, um, they've got a guide on their site, I believe. So, yeah, just just do that. Then there's one more thing about this I'd, I'm not so sure about. The inventory and stuff. I mean, I or escape should be inventory. It's, it's you know, it's strange. Okay, now I've got my gun. F's to interact with stuff. Ha! <laughs> Waste, man! Yeah, and it's not it's not a finished tutorial. This tutorial is not yet complete. For, for now, there is just a few signs to further explain things. More to come. For even more help, which is our webpage. Please, it's just both right now, eh, kid? Right, you start off with a jetpack. Like, try, you gotta get it, like. You spawn your world. Obviously, this is already a world I've done. But I haven't explored or done anything, really. I think I'm mine some ice. And I caught got crabs. I mean, I mean, yeah, well, I got crabs. See, told you. Boing. Fuck you, big boy. Oh, I'm surprised they're dying. We're dead even. Oh, <gasps> nice. Give me that, give me that, give me, give me, give me that. Here comes a crab. Here comes a crab. Chit, 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 chit. Here comes a crab. Go on, feck off. Oh, you know, that's cheating. Hacks, man, what you do? Yeah, this game definitely needs melee weapons. Definitely needs melee weapons. Because once them close, you're just fucked, basically. Even if you got a machine gun, you, st you know, you're pretty still fucked. This is the only way to use torches, like, if you've got torches equipped. Which makes sense, I suppose, but some more convenient ways to light up stuff, I think, could be a better thing. Uh, oh, exposure warning already. Killer death robots already. What the flick? Did I actually get anything? 
yeah, I'll get two aluminium. Win! Uh, this is a bad world. Sometimes you generate worlds and I'm just like, nah, mate, you might have any, and I'm like, oh, no. Um, yeah, okay, let's just mine some ting. Whoa! It's like, you will find yourself in this game falling off shit very, very, very often. I've, I literally fall to my death like three times a game. As you can see, I fell to my death three times before. Okay, if you're looking near the health bar at the top, you got your energy bar, obviously. And there's a little cylinder things, bottom right of my hood. On, near my uh, health bar. That, they're, um... Crow rods. Crow rods are basically lives. Except you don't die permanently in this game. Like I can say Mario when you run out of lives. Basically you start losing items. Uh, like literally like I armor and stuff like that. And stuff at your inventory as well. Uh, I don't know what to compare it to because I don't really know a game where you lose your items. Oh, well, Minecraft. Like you die and you lose your items. On this you won't lose your items as long as you got crow rods. Which is fair I think. I think that's quite a good game mechanic. I'm dead. Whee! I'm bloody good at this game, I swear to God. I mean, uh, that they put a suggestion thing up uh, the, the other day, uh, saying basically, uh, what should we add into the game, like? And I'm like, well, lots of things. Look, hey, but you just start with the things you promise first. So I mean, this game has got a lot of potential. I mean. Heck loads. I mean, I, I tweeted their Twitter last night asking if they're going to add ships in. So, because it's a space game, I would like to at least own or be able to build a functioning spaceship. That'd be, like, you know, that'd be great because in Terraria, we didn't have vehicles or any type of, I don't know, anything useful, interactable, to be quite honest. Correct me if I'm wrong, I might just be forgetting stuff, but it's like terrible, seriously. I hope this is different, and to be quite honest, uh, if you've been following uh, Terraria and you're really excited to see 1.2, don't be, seriously. I, wanted, I was going to buy his game again for a like a friend of mine, but you know what? I just said to him, priority. Because he literally is, he, like, he abandoned his game, right? On a whim and said basically, you know, I don't want to update this game anymore. I don't want to do it. I'm moving on to bigger things, and, I, and that, that kind of annoyed me because you don't do that. You don't say it like that either. Like, you know, say that. Fair, if you lose interest, fair enough. I mean, it's his, his game. He can do what he likes with it. But don't say you can update it constantly and then just quit. Because, you know, I, you know, I wouldn't even recommend anyone buy Strarier again. Because even with this new update, he's like, oh, yeah, it's coming out in July. Didn't come out in July. Oh, yeah, it's coming out before October. October's here. Well, October's nearly here. And he's like, nope, it's delayed, it's going to be way after October. I, I've just gave up waiting. Oh, crap, I'm annoying. They really need to sort that out. Uh, so, yeah, basically. Um, I should probably get them, actually. But, yeah, new new headset. So, I'll sound different, which is probably great. Because, obviously, you can hear the full extent of my annoyingness. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, basically aluminium. It's like the base thing that you need in order to make like the second tier of armor. All know it's the first tier, isn't it? Really, because you you start off with this shit. Okay, I don't care about explosion. Fuck it. I've got a gun. I could probably shoot at him, but to be quite honest, the gun would do pretty much nothing. And yeah, you have to reload every two seconds. They they added um, the fact that I need to use ammo. See, in Terraria, that works. In this game, not so much. No, fuck off. I'm going to die. Fuck off. Ugh. Fucking crabs are annoying in this game. Fuck you, seriously. <sighs> fuck me. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't even funny. It's like the need to fix this game. Like, quickly. And solar storms. It's like, 
you just started, right? And you literally got every fucker after you. There's no easy in like Terraria where you're just against the enemies. You, you know, in, in your biome. In your biome, everything spawns. I've, I've had sharks spawning my biome. And if you haven't seen, if you if you're curious about this game and you Google it, you'll see the sharks. Them like robotic sharks that fly around. A bit saft, but it's funny. Um, and it's like literally fucking. You get attacked by everything straight away. There's no easing in. It's much more harsh on this game because there's no melee weapons, so you can't actually protect yourself. There's no knockback on the guns. Uh, so basically, if you've got no weapons and you're at the lowest level armor, everything kills you. So you, you will find yourself hiding most of the time. And to be quite honest, that's not fun. You're standing still in like your base until it comes light again, and then you're still in danger. No, sort yourself out. Um. But this, you know what, if you, if you are wondering, oh, should I get this game, get it. Then we're going to update it, and them, I'm, I mean, I'm updating quite a bit just lately, I mean, I, I'm going to fault them for it, but there's just so many things with this game at the moment that I would like changed. Uh, but then saying that, it's in, I think it's still beta now, isn't it? Or is it alpha? Like, it's really early on, so, got me some slack, but I don't think they should be asking what people want this early on in forum posts, because to be quite honest, I doubt you can deliver on that fast enough, and I really doubt people are going to be happy with you, because you haven't gave us vehicles or multiplayer, there's one thing, everyone's on the forum saying we want multiplayer, the only reason we bought the game, multiplayer, 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 that is valid, do not shoot people down for when they ask for it, you promised it, right, no, indie games completely depend on multiplayer half the time, I mean Terraria is a good single player experience, gets boring after about a couple of days gameplay. And there's way more than a couple of days gameplay into it. Multiplayer is multiplayer will make this game flourish. How do the I'm like okay, fair enough. Our game's broken. We don't want the multiplayer. So then why is it that I can play single player and still enjoy the game? It would another person make a difference. You see, they haven't really explained why there isn't any multiplayer. It's very if it's very vague. Um and I really do think they need to put a post out there just outlining facts and not saying, oh, we don't think our game's finished enough. Well, what about the game's not finished? It's in stuff like this. It's too vague. No one wants to hear this kind of thing. Uh, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, uh, everyone wants multiplayer. Just give us damn multiplayer. I mean, if it does turn out and they turn around and say, oh, it's network difficulties, we can't just, like, you know, make everything link together perfectly. There's lag issues, like Terraria had back in the day. Uh, if they turn around and went, that was, that's, the, that's the reason, lay off a bit, I'd be like, okay, fair enough, completely understandable. But they've gave us, like, no indication whatsoever. It's, like, literally just, nope, no multiplayer, we're not going to tell you why, you bought our game, we don't really care. And I'm like, well, no, because I don't, I don't, I don't think the indie team's like that. I think they're really nice. Like, say, Under the Ocean is a sub 2D side-scroller survival game. Much like this, but I, I, they're not similar, so I can't compare them. One's a survival game, which I'm going to upload some videos today, maybe, or in the next few weeks, if you are watching. Uh, and basically, you know, watch those. That game is good. I, I'd recommend you go and buy it. I mean, I've been... Talking with the lead developer Paul Grimley, Farmer Gnome on Twitter. If I've got your second name wrong, I am so sorry. Uh, but yeah, I've been talking to him for quite a while um, on Twitter, and you know what? He answers his t he answers his fans. He answers his fans. If some if 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 someone's got like a question about the game and they don't talk to him on the forums and they talk to him on his Twitter, he answers. See, people like Reg Edit, Andrew Spinks, and some of the other uh, indie developers need to take heed of that. That is good. See, if if you want to buy a game, right, it helps if you know if if the indie team are more approachable. Because you don't want to buy a game. I mean, EA that's their problem. They're faceless. EA are a faceless corporation. They make the worst games possible. To be well, they don't make them. They just produce the worst games possible. And I mean, people will argue our oh, Battlefield's good, as good as it should be, as good as its predecessor. Nowhere near. And that's it. And that's for me for today. That's my rant over. I haven't really done uh, that much play through. But uh, yeah, I'm going to call this probably an edge of space rant. 
I like moaning. Everyone likes moaning, it's fun. <laughs> so, uh, like or subscribe, or just leave me a comment. Um, this has been Dan, in association with BLG, obviously. Uh, I'll be uploading very often, actually. So, you know, 10 years down the line, I'll probably have 10 million videos, because I'm that boring. Uh, nah, I'm joking. Uh, and that's it for today. Goodbye.